Murray Drucker, a celebration of life. Editor, entrepreneur, athlete, comedian, family man, collie lover, and 40-year member of Collie Club of America, co-founder of Quarter Century Club. Those who knew Murray Drucker would say every one of these words described him perfectly. For he was all these things and more. A man who lived life to the fullest. A man who loved his wife and family with the greatest passion. A man who saw every one of life's challenges and problems as yet another lesson to learn from and another opportunity to grow. Murray was a wit, a card. Someone with a love of life unmatched by most and the confidence to show it no matter where he was or who he was with. Whether showing off his newest hairdo or singing along with Frank Sinatra during marathon telephone sessions in his office. Murray exuded an energy that could tire out the common man and that helped him build a varied and colorful career that left a legacy for all of us here tonight. Murray Drucker was born in New York in 1919. His father was a lawyer, but Murray had no interest in a legal career. Always curious about all subjects, he chose to study journalism at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the 1930s. Once on campus, Murray quickly made his mark. He parlayed his love of music into a regular column on the university newspaper but he left his true mark on Chapel Hill's swim team, the Blue Dolphins. A powerful competitor in the breaststroke, Murray helped his teammates win the school's first ever championship in the Southern Conference. He graduated in 1940, but so deep were his ties to his alma mater and his lifelong friends from the team that he took it upon himself to organize team reunions on campus every few years. His most recent was the 50th reunion held in the spring of 1990. Few activities brought him so much joy as spending time in the water. Like so many young men of his generation, Murray signed on with the armed forces at the outbreak of World War II. He was commissioned a commander in the United States Coast Guard, spending much of his time in the stormy North Atlantic. Before Murray's return to the States, he was stationed in Scotland, where he rescued and later adopted Barry, a lovable collie from that friendly land. This truly was the start of a lifelong love affair with collies. Not long afterward, the two pals went to Hollywood, where Murray began his career as a scriptwriter for MGM Studio and as a radio comedy writer. And where Barry became a celebrity in his own right, hobnobbing with the top stars of the day. It was in his early days in California that Murray founded the Collie Review, which over the years has grown from a 16-page publication to the successful trade magazine it is today. The Collie Review is a lasting example of Murray's love for dogs and his belief in his magazine, as well as a premier publication for breeders, trainers, and exhibitors throughout the nation. In the 1950s, Murray founded yet another successful publication, California Girl Magazine, a trade publication for the fashion industry. With his models and photographers, he traveled to exotic locations like Hong Kong, Brazil, Hawaii, Greece, and Tokyo to complete fashion spreads of California styles. It was during this time that he met the lovely Marjorie Vattendahl, a model and instructor at a Hollywood modeling agency, who later became Mrs. Murray Drucker in 1957, and who, as Murray's biggest champion, continued to model and travel with the magazine around the world, in addition to serving as editor of her own publication, Boxer Review. 
Murray and Marge went on to have two daughters, Tina and Karen, affectionately known as Tay. Both enjoyed special relationships with their dad, with Tina eventually entering the special education field and Tay choosing an entertainment career and inheriting her father's love of the water and showing it in a big way by swimming the English Channel in 1988. In later years, Murray conducted what he called his sideline, tennis tours of California. A highly successful venture, TTC brought together amateur tennis lovers for trips all over the world. Murray loved this organization, not only for the sport itself, but for the chance to meet and play with new people from foreign lands. Murray's passion for collies and collie folks led to his co-founding the Quarter Century Group with Ralph Morrison in 1980. The group now boasts close to 300 members from across the country and fosters camaraderie among purebred collie owners through social events, education, and other activities. Murray Drucker and Ralph Morrison, through their ideas, vision, and hard work, made the Quarter Century Group a reality. They also made our gathering here tonight possible, in which we honored three new Hall of Fame inductees. Murray will long be remembered for this contribution, and we thank him. Above all, he will be remembered for his fierce love of life his staunch support of everything his wife and daughters pursued and accomplished, his boundless energy, his hard work and dedication to publishing and writing and fostering lifelong friendships. These are true marks of a life well lived. We salute Murray Drucker, father, brother, husband, and friend. Murray truly was a celebration of life. <laughs>